Barney uh, Mulinga on Facebook. Uh, through marriage green card, we applied in March 2019. Kids under 18 and up to now, we've not heard anything yet. We must, uh, or what must we do? My conditional green card uh, is due uh, for application for removal of conditions this March, and my green card expires in June. Will it be uh, right for me to travel outside the USA in June while waiting for my renewed green card? Yes, you're going to get an extension when you file the I-751. My EB-3 uns unskilled, my I-140 approved since November of 2019 documents from UAE due to pandemic back home in the Philippines and my document confirmed transfers to the U.S. Philippine Embassy. Any update or prediction on when this schedule will be you're interviewed? An employment -based, interview. Yeah, you're an employment-based case not minimally till April 1st. We talked yesterday on the show that they're backlogged 300,000 people when they're going to actually start this. So it's going to be a while, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Sashay Kens on Facebook. After a DS-260 form file and sent to NVC, how long does it take to get a medical and interview? Husband and wife situation. Well, once the case is transferred to a U.S. embassy, hopefully 90 to 120 days. My brother had granted asylum from IJ. Uh, he Immigration filed for test. a green. Okay, he filed for a green card in 2019. Had biometrics, but did not get his green card yet. He also received an I-94 from Federal Plaza back in 2018. He was not accepted today for the CDL test at the DMV. They requested his work authorization. He was told a Federal Plaza that he does not need a work authorization if he is requested one can he show an i-94 is it true does he need to have a work authorization if he was granted asylum and a social security number he still needs a work permit you should get one apply an i-765 thanks for watching for more bradshaw live like and subscribe to our youtube channel